It is 8.30 p.m. <clears throat> on May 18, 2018. It's been roughly 12 hours since the Santa Fe High School massacre. Uh, this particular one hit me pretty, pretty different. This one is very, very close to the place I live. I have a niece now. I'm pursuing children. Uh, I'm only an hour and three minutes away, according to Google, from that high school. So there's a lot of moving parts that are definitely making this one hurt differently. Because every, every catastrophe hurts. Every everything negative and everything this evil affects you when you come to know about it in a way but this one is in my in my hometown this one is in my backyard so it hit me a little differently um, my heart goes out to the families of the victims of the injured ones, of everyone that had to live in terror the day of today. Um, I usually have something clever to say. Obviously, in a situation like this, you can't be clever. You can't be funny. And I'm only making this video not to talk about the obvious, but to talk about what if. I'm starting to think about this more and more because someday I'm going to have children. Someday my nephews and my friends' kids are going to be going to school. And I can only imagine the fear of what parents go through having to think that their children may not come back because there's a bunch of crazies out there now. I mean... I really don't want to use terminology like that, but when you have a 17-year-old kid assassinate 10 people in a cold-blooded fashion, I can't express myself any different. We have to ask ourselves, what's changing so dramatically for our young adults to behave that way? Are we failing as parents? Are we failing as teachers? Are we failing as friends? As we fail, are we failing as mentors? What are we doing wrong to these sick mind individuals? Because they're sick, they need help, they need assistance. But most of the times, I truly believe that instead of them being helped out, they are, and I'm not excusing anybody here, I'm just saying what makes it worse and eventually progresses to this level of, of evilness, if that's even a word. They get, um, they get bullied, they uh, make fun of, they're ignored. Something must be happening in the life of these people that ultimately results in events like this. Because people, the guns are the least of your worries. The guns is not what is actually killing our children. The guns are only the enabler. They're only the means the killer chooses to have access to, to accomplish a very evil task. I'm not gonna get too deep into this because this is going. This can turn into a, a back and forth fight for hours. But guns don't kill people. People kill people. I truly believe we need guns. The one, the, the people that. You and I are right on our, on our heads. People like you and me that can give the proper use to a pistol, to a rifle, 
to a shotgun and the proper use is to protect the ones we love not to actually use it to hurt people and inflict such a massive pain on families I'm truly truly lost for words I'm actually scared of the future I'm scared of sending my children to school because of things like this not too long ago I just made a video of my wife and I enjoying Black Panther in a theater and this has become so so popular so traditional now I, I don't know it's becoming a fashion if you will that you now have to be afraid of being killed in a public place because they just don't care where, where it happens in a school in a mall in a movie theater the world is sick guys and and we have to acknowledge the fact that it's becoming sicker we have to pay attention of our children you can just ignore them just ask yourself if you're watching this today really ask yourself and you're a parent what could you be doing wrong what can you do better now if you're a young adult and you're starting because everything starts somewhere so before someone commits this type of evil act it has to start as an idea if you're starting to think crazy if you're starting to think like you want to take it uh, you want to if you're starting to think like you just want to hurt the world and make a big wave do, do, do everyone a favor um, seek help try to talk to your parents try to talk to your teachers try to talk to somebody you must have somebody and if you don't seek help yourself man because you're about to cause a lot of people a great amount of deal of pain this is the only thing I can share guys I wish I could do more for the families I wish I could do more for the victims I wish I could do more for everyone that had to suffer today but the only thing that I can truly do is hope that this video gets on, on as many eyeballs as as he can and possibly touch your soul in one way shape or form and something I said here allows you to have a different aspect of life and that's, I, I'm specifically talking to those hurt hurtful enforcers people that want to inflict pain in the world try to change your ways brothers try to change who you're becoming because nobody and I truly believe that nobody is born evil nobody I think I'm gonna cut it here because I feel like I'm starting to go in circles Let's actually, tonight or tomorrow, or whenever you can, make a pretty good prayer. And let's hope they can actually find peace. That they can find God. And put this behind them. As soon as humanly possible. Especially if they're parents of victims. Um, I'm not saying it's going to be easy, but let's pray that they have comfort soon.
God bless you all. And uh, Texas strong. Remember that.